Welcome to this video tutorial on how to perform a simple search in Pedro, the Physiotherapy Evidence Database. You access the simple search page from the Pedro homepage at www.pedro.org.au. Click on the simple search link in the left navigation bar or in the search the Pedro database section. With a simple search, you ask your clinical question using the single search box. This box allows you to type text into it. All the terms you type need to be in English. Generally, it is most efficient to type two or three words into the search box. Before starting your search, it is best to think about the question you are asking, as this will help you choose the best search terms. We will use this clinical question to demonstrate how to do a simple Pedro search. In people with Parkinson's disease, does training using visual or auditory cues reduce the risk of having a fall compared to usual care? Let's start the search using one component from our clinical question. We can define the patient using the word Parkinson asterisk. We have deliberately omitted the apostrophe S at the end of Parkinson's. We also deliberately added the asterisk at the end of the word. An asterisk is the special character used in Pedro to indicate truncation. By truncating, Pedro will return all records containing words starting with the text string Parkinson. These would include Parkinson, Parkinson's and Parkinsonism. To start the search, either click the search button or click enter. The search results page is then displayed. There are 261 records which fulfill our search criteria. This is a large number of records, too many to read to answer our clinical question. Let's click the continue searching simple link to return to the search page and make the search more precise by adding some more search terms. Let's use another component from our clinical question. We can define the intervention using the word Q asterisk. We have deliberately used the text string C U E asterisk instead of a word like queuing. So Pedro will return all records containing words starting with the text string C U E. These would include Q, Qs, and queuing. All the words you type into the search box will automatically be combined with the AND Boolean operator. So your search for Parkinson and Q will return just those reports which have the words Parkinson and Q in their title or abstract or in any of the indexing codes in Pedro. Now start the search again. The yield is now 36 records. This is still too many records, so let's revise the search some more. Click the Continue Searching Simple link to return to the search page and make the search more precise by adding some more search terms. Let's use another component from our clinical question. We can define the outcome using the word fall asterisk. Our search for Parkinson asterisk and Q asterisk and fall asterisk will return just those records which have words starting with Parkinson and Q and fall in their title or abstract or in any of the indexing terms in Pedro. Now start the search again. The yield is now eight records. This is a good number of records to consider. You can read the title of each record in this search results page. Click on the title hyperlink to view the abstract and other details. We have just demonstrated how to do a Pedro simple search. In the search we used an asterisk to indicate truncation, which is a sophisticated search feature for text fields. More information about searching is available on the Pedro search help page. Our search produced a large number of search results. To overcome this, we made our search more precise by adding extra search terms. The opposite can also occur. If your search returns too few 
or even no records, you can make your search broader by removing search terms. Searching via the simple search page may be a good introduction to using Pedro to answer your clinical questions because it is easy to use. Once you feel comfortable using the Pedro simple search, please try using the Pedro advanced search page. The Pedro advanced search provides more alternatives for asking clinical questions and may provide better answers for complex clinical questions. We hope you have found this tutorial on how to perform a Pedro simple search useful.